It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Dallas Cowboys and the Atlanta Falcons coming up next. First opened in 2017, there's a look at the beautiful state-of-the-art Mercedes-Benz Stadium here in Atlanta, GA. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand, kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. teed up and we are underway from Atlanta. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And they got to be pleased with this. He brings it all the way up to the 40-yard line. Well, the Cowboys making their way out behind the NFL's leader in touchdown passes for 2023. In his ninth season now, Dak Prescott. And he's coming off one of the best seasons of his career where he finishes a runner-up in the MVP chase after throwing for over 4,500 yards, 36 touchdowns, and less than 10 interceptions for the first time in a few years. An integral part of the Cowboys' run to the playoffs, he's hoping to take it a step further here in 2024. They run here with Rico Dowdle. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe, up to the 41. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Quick hitter here. It's complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And it'll leave them with third and a full yard to go. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Here's Prescott. He'll take his shot for the end zone. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Jalen Tolbert, 52 yards. And the Cowboys need just three plays to go down and take the early lead. Could not have scripted it any better. And many offenses do script their opening possession on offense. They followed that one perfectly. Took the ball right downfield and scored, giving energy not just to the offensive unit, but to their team overall. Brandon Aubrey now for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-0 Cowboys. Uh-oh, flag comes out here. This is going to be roughing the kicker. When you're going back there on the kick block, you've got to go to the right point. That didn't happen. Ran into the kicker. The penalty flag had to come out. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. So the Falcons make their way out behind their new quarterback for 2024. Signed back in March, the veteran Kirk Cousins. And coming off of an offseason where Kirk Cousins was coming back from an Achilles injury, he thought that was going to be his biggest challenge instead. 
The Falcons drafted Michael Penix out of Washington in the first round. And while that was a jolt, Kirk Cousins has a great ability to just shake things off, move forward, and let his talents come through. So first and 10 now from the 30. Off the play fake, Cousins. He's going to drop this underneath for Robinson. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. He was waving his arms, wanted the football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of a story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass that you blew coverage on, what did you say to him? Yeah, it's really not right since I blew coverage, but <laughs> since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time he'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? He wasn't, real, th he wasn't real thrilled with that. That's cold-blooded. Cold-blooded. <laughs> he lost two, and it brings up four. An ideal start defensively. They already have the touchdown. Now they get the stop. Just like they drew it up on the chalkboard. Does that sound dated? Right? Am I, am I out of touch a little bit? <laughs> it's all right. All right. Grease board. Heck, computer. Exactly what you want, though. Score on your first drive. Stop them on the first drive defensively. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. to throw is Prescott. That's into the hands of Tolbert. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And Zeke will have a Cowboys first down as he'll be brought down at the 38-yard line. Now, during that run, an injury here, we got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. Now, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. From the 44 now, here's second and four. Now Prescott. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is a defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front. The front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Prescott from the gun on third. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 44-yard line. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. They run here with Dowdle. 
And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Seemed like they picked an excellent time there, Charles, to go with a draw play. They certainly did. Caught him a little over eager trying to get into the backfield and get to the quarterback. They used their speed and their aggressiveness against them, didn't they? Prescott now. And this is incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job there picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. Here's second and ten. Here's Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. A running play, it's Dowdle. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath, they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? It's important to do, especially early in the game like they have. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. A one-yard gain could look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. Prescott. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. And coming into this ball game, this was an offense that wasn't just talking about the notion of ball control. They were preaching it. They wanted to win the time of possession battle, and they've done so here. This drive's taken up quite a bit of the first quarter. Now they are set up first and goal. Now Prescott. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Jalen Tolbert with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Cowboys lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. Well, this has been a flawless start for them. They score, they get the stop, and they score again, Charles. Complimentary football at its finest. You have just mentioned how they got it done. They scored. The defense got the ball back for them. They score again. That's the way you win ball games. Aubrey now for the point after. And it's good. And they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it was finished off by a Jalen Tolbert touchdown grab. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons offense. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. Working out of the gun, Cousins. Open man is Kyle Pitts, his tight end. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 
They win three and out on their first drive. Things already looking better here, first and ten. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. 16 more on that one and another first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. In motion goes McLeod. Back to Robinson now on first down. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. That's now three straight plays of over 15 yards and three straight first downs. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What is it, three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they'll get to that end zone real fast. On first and ten, it's Robinson. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. But now he appears to be in some pain. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Throwing his Cousins. Locates Mooney on the out route. And the Falcons are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Now Cousins here on the bootleg. And this is going to be incomplete. Just looking at it from a defensive perspective, when you break the huddle in the red zone, tight end is one of the guys you've got a key on because quarterbacks want the ball of their hands fast in this position, and they want to get it to someone. And in this case, he had the play. They just didn't complete it. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. To throw, Cousins. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Cowboys. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, give some credit to the defense. They forced the big play, knocked the ball free from him. But it's a cardinal sin by the quarterback. Know where you are on the field. And he just gave up at a minimum three points. And instead of getting down, takes the contact. The turnover ensues. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 13. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. And all the way down to the 36-yard line. A big play here for Dallas. 51 yards. They made that way too easy for them. No one is supposed to be that open against an NFL defense. Once he caught the ball, there wasn't anybody close enough to stop him. And he was able to continue downfield after making the catch. So how about this for a change in field position? From inside the 10, here's first down on the other side of the field. Prescott to throw it. 
And he can't quite bring it in. Might have heard footsteps there across the middle. Second down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Now it's second and ten. On the run, it's Dowdle. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That burst, good for 20 and a first down. Well, think of it like you would a typical boxing match. The person that's on his heels and absorbing blows is having a tough time. And that's what's happening to the defense right now because the offense is on his toes and punching. And there was another first down run right there. Throwing, Prescott. Open man, right side, it's Lillian. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Well, they certainly not shied away from throwing the football as they've leaned on their quarterback to start this game. Four straight passes right out of the gate with that last one earning them a new set of downs. Dowdle diving for the end zone, and he'll get there. Touchdown. Sometimes offensive can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And it's now 21 to nothing. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. So how about this for a start? 21-0 here in the first as they kick this one away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but... The way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. If they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. And they'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. And the ball on the 30, here's second and four. Cousins now. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. He was out there waving his arms, saying throw it here, dropped it, not a good look. Well, all I can do is just look at him with contempt on that one. As a defensive back, I'm saying, not as an announcer. <laughs> just like, really? A little bit of a diva look, isn't it? Yeah, very much so, because I think what happens is he just had too much time to think. He's wide open now. Here comes the ball, and he doesn't concentrate and drops it. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Micah Parsons showing off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. Well, certainly not an ideal first quarter for him. Remember, he lost the fumble earlier, and here he ends up on the ground with a sack. And sometimes what happens when you make a mistake early you get too cautious going forward. Just cover up the football and take care of it and be able to cut it loose. Otherwise, your offense is going to stall. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. Fielded at the 33. Shrugs him off. 
It's a 45-yard punt, but a decent return there of nine yards. And out will come the offense as they take over. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. But Charles, they're really stringing these possessions and scores together early. We're still in the first quarter, but if they can score again here, look out. Yeah, and as you taught me when we're broadcasting games, one word we're supposed to avoid, and that's blowout. But that's exactly what's going on here. Down three possessions just the first quarter. That goes beyond any worst-case scenario we might have thought coming into this game. And another touchdown here, that should eliminate any hopes for any type of a comeback. Looking to throw, Prescott. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 21-0, our score after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. They'll look to throw here. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. They'll set up a throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I think it's pretty safe to say that when you're up three touchdowns, the last thing you want to do is hang one up there and put it in jeopardy and possibly get it intercepted. Get a nice lead. You should be able to protect it. But if you get careless with the football, look out. The Cowboys on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and ten. They'll throw again. Prescott. And that is dropped. Oh, that could have been a near certain six points. He was all alone, but he could not look it in. My, oh, my. Concentration so key on a ball like that. It's hard. I know how difficult it is. But that's a ball you've got to come up with. And instead, a big play is going to slip through their fingers, literally and figuratively. And his kick is right there. It's good. And the route is on. It's 24 to nothing. So everything else has gone right in this first half. Kind of follows that it would for their kicker, too, as he adds three more onto the lead. Yeah, and the way that this one's gone, definitely not looking like he's going to have to worry too much about pressure kicks late in the game. He can go out there free and easy, just work on his form, and he knocked that one through. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Now the Falcons offense, they get ready to head back out here. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. don't want to. No, but oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you, just, you, called can a I think you just called it desperation time. <laughs> I, I think did. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating, to use a boxing analogy. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Sets up the screen to Robinson. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. A little too much extracurricular there. 
When you have a game with a lot of contact, tensions are going to run pretty high. You're going to be emotional, but you have to harness it somehow, and he didn't on that play. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. On the counter, this is Robinson. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. No big surprise, Micah Parsons doing what he does so well, dropping him for a loss. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. On second down, another shot for Robinson. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Cowboys are going to take over here up near the 40. So a nice play defensively by the rookie coming up with the INT. And that's a late round pick right there, making a first round impact. And a lot of these day three corners end up winding up on special teams and sub packages and even on the practice squad. But he's really made an impact on this defense, and he comes up with the interception there. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Two yards to go, second down. Here's Prescott. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Arnold Ebicady, the outside linebacker, dropping him for a loss of six. Well, that's what they have to do more of defensively, not just getting sacks. We have to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving them up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. They'll see about converting this third and eight. They'll look to throw. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Marching in for the sack, Matthew Judon. Now that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football led to a sack. And that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. Cowboys going to bring on Brian Anger to punt on fourth down. Back deep, Ray Ray McLeod. This is brought in at the 21. 44-yard punt, return of nine. And it will be Falcon football. Atlanta now coming out on the field. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Got this complete to the tight end pits. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 
First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. It's been a very one-sided game so far. They got to change what they're doing right now, don't they? You can't wait till the halftime speech to make an adjustment. No, you can't because if you're doing it right, you're adjusting from series to series, and they need a big adjustment here to try to put some points on the board. Cousins to throw it. Going for Kyle Pitts again. He's got him again. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. To throw is Cousins. Over the middle, caught by London. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Cousins. He's going to drop this underneath for Robinson. Four yards on the dump off at second down. Now that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. And caught by London. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 24-yard line. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. Cousins. Targeting Pitts on the out route, and he's got it complete. And able to get this down inside the 15 to either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team, but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want him to catch the football first. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands, but could not hang on. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me that option of running play action and maybe throwing it. Throwing. Cousins. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Drake London from three yards out and the Falcons are able to cut into that deficit now the scoreboard still does not look good but at least they polished off that goose egg yeah they've been thoroughly outplayed in the first half finally a little spark of life but it's going to take a lot more to add to that flame for them to thoroughly get back into this one extra point attempt to follow here He's got it, and that makes our score 24 to 7. That time, a nine play drive, and it was finished off by a touchdown catch from Drake London. Touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. 
Dallas offense set for this next drive. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 26. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Throw out wide is incomplete. Jalen Tolbert to target that time, but it's going to be second down. To throw is Prescott. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Normally, he's pretty reliable. Usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. The Cowboys on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and ten. Play action now. Prescott. And that nearly intercepted. Boy, for a guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. But instead, it's fourth down. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. On to punt now, Anger, as he boots this one away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. Here are the Falcons as their offense heads back onto the field. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace... This drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. Short throw caught by Pitts. Two yards on the pickup there, and it's second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. This is second and eight. Now Cousins. The throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why. They've looked lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. From the gun, here's Cousins. And that one too wide and incomplete. And attempted a deep ball there, and they didn't get it. But boy, they're going to need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game. Good thing they do have a little bit of time here still left in the contest. Decent-sized deficit, but not one that they can't manage. Now here's Bradley Pinion now. now. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 21. They'll start this drive out on the ground. They find some open field here. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 72 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. I love football lingo and the evolution of it all. Nickel defense makes sense, right? Five, Five defensive DBs. backs. <laughs> But then you go to six, what are you going to call that? And they call it a Double dime. Double it. <laughs> a dime, which is just very simple for them. The math doesn't add up. 
But I know one thing, offenses love to run against dime defenses. Typically, the bigger guys have an advantage against the smaller defensive backs when they're blocking downfield. Yeah, we saw that advantage right there. And some room to maneuver. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Another first down there as this one goes for 25. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Pass complete to Tolbert on the crossing route. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. Another nice play there. They've gotten down into the red zone in no time at all. That's what this offense can do when they get on a roll. And now they're set up with a first and 10. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now Prescott. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. Ball at the nine on second and eight. Prescott down. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. The way he's been slinging in the first half, you expect everything he throws to go for a touchdown, but I guess he's got to wait to try and pick up that third, isn't he? Yeah, I thought he had him for a second, but you're right not to be. Game clock at 2.01. Time for one final play before the two-minute warning. Prescott to throw it. And that is incomplete. Oh, he did everything but hold on to it. But a nice play defensively, and now it brings up fourth down. They'll turn things over to Brandon Aubrey now for the field goal. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So this lead, Charles, is just continuing to swell here in the first half. Well, it's interesting. When we talked to them prior to the game, they told us that their game plan was take no prisoners. And they've lived up to it so far because everything has worked. No guarantee that'll continue. But all in all, this coaching staff's got to be very pleased by what they've seen. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. Here comes the Falcon offense now as they get set to take over here. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. to throw Cousins oh, hit as he throws there incomplete nothing open downfield and he had to get that one out in a hurry because he just knew he was about to take a big shot probably couldn't get his legs into the throw became an all arm throw trying to check it down to his running back incomplete second and ten throwing his Cousins Man open, that's Ray Ray McLeod. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Here's Cousins. Now Robinson and coughs up the football. It's loose. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. He was trying to do anything he could to get that final little bit for the first down. Instead, he lost the ball. Yeah, and he was short of the first down, but not by much. Trying his best, as you noted, to get there. Sometimes that extra effort can cost you. 
There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Cousins again. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. So line of scrimmage still to 39 on second and 10. Working out of the gun, Cousins. He'll get this into the hands of Hodge. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Cousins now. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Second down and a yard. To the air again, it's Cousins. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Robinson. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 28. It's a gain of 11, and the Falcons pick up the first. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash, this from 45 yards away. Koo knocks this one through the post, and that will move the deficit from 20 down to 17. So a late three there, and that'll help as they head into the break. Talk about situational football, and something they've worked on since the OTAs and mini camps the previous summer. They take care of the ball, get three points, knowing they're going to get the ball to start the second half. That's the old two for one special to finish things off. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. One second, all that remains. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. 
as we'll head down to Orlando. That's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. It'll be Falcons football, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Falcons offense and Kirk Cousins getting ready for this next possession. And it's been a struggle for him all afternoon. This defense has really done a nice job of making him earn everything he gets, and it's prevented him from getting into any kind of rhythm here today. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. From the 34-yard line, here's second down and two. Robinson with another carry. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Cousins. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Cousins to throw it. And he's got the hook up to McLeod. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that will bring up second down. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. Looking for London on the out route complete. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one number five. Cousins throws right back to London, complete again. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll make it second down. On play action, Cousins. And this will be caught by Mooney. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 25-yard line. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. They'll throw again. Cousins. Now, a quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, 
realized he had support behind him and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Cousins. This is caught by Robinson. He's got room to roam and finally wrestled down at the 11. The Falcon passing game looking good on this drive as they get the first down. How about a nod to the sequence of plays they're putting together here? This has been death by a thousand paper cuts on this drive. But this is one of their best plays yet. And they're able to move it down into the red zone. To throw is Cousins. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing. Cousins. Throwing middle, and it's complete. Five yards. Now it's third and five. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Again, it's Cousins. And that is caught. Touchdown, Falcons. Ray Ray McLeod seven-yard touchdown grab and the Falcons are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half that's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game and you know that there's an emphasis on their side hey we know this we know where we are but sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard you don't get the score a perfect combination of urgency yet relaxed enough to get it done Two able to connect on the extra point, and the lead is trimmed down to 10. So that drive, 12 plays in length, and the Falcons score to cap it off. with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And they got to be pleased with this. He brings it all the way up to the 40-yard line. The Cowboys offense and Dak Prescott getting ready to go once more. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. Now that's the kind of return you're looking for. To get to that spot on the field, that allows you to do a lot of things on offense. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You can say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime, then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Off the play fake, Prescott. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and 10. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. On play action, Prescott. And that will be incomplete as well. Partner, the way this offense is marched up and down the field during this game, 
It's almost a surprise to see an incomplete pass on third down, isn't it? Yeah, they have had their foot on the gas all game long, but here finally stalling out. Here's Brian Anger now as he's on to punt for Dallas. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. The Falcons offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he had it going in the first half, that's for sure. He's really had his way with his secondary. They've been powerless to stop him. And he'll look to keep it rolling right here. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've got them pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll run again here with Robinson. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Just need a yard here, second and one. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And some nifty running here as they'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. 86 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Offensive line right now really freeing up the rushing lanes on this drive. And we have to give them props. They've earned them. But these big runs that we're seeing, they don't result without everyone else being involved as well. Blocking on the perimeter has to take place downfield too. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. Now Cousins. Over the middle complete. It's Robinson. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. A big pickup of 38. He was not the primary target. They expected to get the ball downfield. Instead, checked it down. An old coach of mine used to say to us all the time, when they check it down, that should end the down. In this case, though, he foiled that in a big way and turned it into a big play. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run with Robinson. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. They're mounting a nice drive here. Good chunk of yardage there again. O-line, they've been solid this drive. They have that look about them right now that says, if you do anything but run the ball behind us, you're crazy. They have really moved it well on this drive, and they want to finish it off. This to Pitts, and he's got him. Touchdown, Atlanta. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Falcons have got it back to within a score. And there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Ku now for the point after. And the lead is down to a field goal now. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it was the tight end Kyle Pitts finishing it all off on the touchdown reception.
throwing the touchdown now. It's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Cowboys offense and running back Rico Dowdle headed back onto the field. And as you take a look at the numbers, you have to imagine he was the topic of the halftime talk for this defense. We've got to find a way to slow him down. That's probably what they're saying. But nothing that they have done has worked so far. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Their lead down to a field goal now as they start with a first and ten. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Throwing. Prescott. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. They'll give him four yards there. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Third and four. Prescott. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Here's Brian Anger now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And he'll get credit for putting him inside the 20 as the fair catch is made right at about the 19-yard line. The home team's offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And he's been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been totally taken apart, and that is borne out in his numbers. He's been terrific all game long. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. Yeah, they've clawed their way back into this game. First half, they were down pretty big. Now, all of a sudden, we've got a ball game. How have they done it? First thing is what you just talked about, clawing their way back in. That means they've decided to go ahead and fight this thing out, which is great. The second part is they looked at where the problems were in the first half, figured out how to shore them up, and have now gone to that part of the playbook that is actually working for them. A few adjustments, a few changes, and really good execution. Now we'll see if that trend can continue. Now oh, here's a fake on the jet sweep and a give to Robinson. And again, the run defense stout this time. He maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. Call it no gain there. And now they're looking at a third and 13. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. On third down, Robinson. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to about the 19. It'll be a pickup of just two, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle, but what he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he's on to punt for Atlanta. Call that a 45-yard punt, just two yards there on the return. And they will take over first and 10. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described, that leads to finding a way into the end zone. And now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And of course, with that comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage. And again, that second score here in the third quarter. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Justin Simmons up from his safety spot to make the tackle. 
Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left in no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Prescott to throw it. Short pass taken in by Schoonmaker. Only able to gain a couple there. Third and seven now. That was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. Now third down and seven. Now flags fly in, and one of the Cowboys looked like he got going a little early. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. Now Prescott. A short one there, taken in by Ferguson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 17 yards on the play there, and the Cowboys have a first down. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Atlanta. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. And they'll get this just to the 47. One-yard gain. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Here's Prescott. Able to hit his target lamb. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 37. A nice pick up there, 10 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And he'll get it inside the 35. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Here's Prescott. Over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 23. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. Looking to throw, Prescott. He's got a complete to Tolbert. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. He's been big, two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again, he picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him, double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. Excellent job pushing through tacklers that time to pick up six. 
If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. Tried to go draw play out of the gun down here. Yeah, they tried to spread things out, didn't they? They wanted to move people away from the center of the field, away from the line of scrimmage near the ball, so that the runner could find some space unsuccessfully, though. Prescott on third and goal. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys get an important score there to extend their lead here this fourth quarter. But that's certainly an important touchdown there. It makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses, hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you, that could win the game for us. Aubrey now for the PAT. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it was finished off by a Jalen Tolbert touchdown grab. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And here now come the Falcons. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. Now Cousins into the hands of London. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. They'll operate from the 32 yard line here. Second and three. Throwing is Cousins. Over the middle, that's caught by McLeod. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Robinson up the middle. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Here's a second down and seven from the 37. Here's Cousins. And his throw here is incomplete. This is what defensive coaches ask of their defenders every single ball game. Get a hand on every throw and coverage. They want the deflections. They want the knockaways. Pick it yourself if you can, but at least knock it down and guarantee it's incomplete. The offense on third down, they've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This is third and seven to throw Cousins he's going to wind up and air it out and this is caught for a Falcon touchdown Ray Ray McLeod his second touchdown of the afternoon 
And the Falcons have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Extra point by Koo up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The visitors' offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been that successful. He just processes things so quickly and makes a right read seemingly every time. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Things sure were looking good for them at the half. Heck, off the air, you and I were just saying they might run away with this thing and cruise to a victory. Not anymore. Yeah, the cruise control has to be off at this point. Now you've got to mash the gas yourself. Again, who's going to step up and make a big play for you? Who's going to take care of business now that you're being pressed? It is definitely go time for them at this moment. All of a sudden clinging to a slim lead and hoping to hold on to that lead. Play action now, Prescott. He's got a man, it's his fullback. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 17 yards on the catch and run, it's a first down. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Prescott off play action. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. 111 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, Keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Here's a second and eight. Now Prescott. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. Timing's crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. Prescott from the gun on third. That is caught. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. 
they have to feel really good about that last completion. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Elliott. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. This is where coaches have to have spent a lot of time going over situations with their players because him getting tackled there is not the worst thing in the world. You're going to run more plays, right? Clock's going to go. But his thought process is getting into the end zone. It's counterintuitive for him to actually go down in this spot. Yeah, but you, like you say, you don't want to get in the end zone too early here. No, not at all, because you may leave an opening that could come back and get you. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. And now third and goal coming up, the loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder, and they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Buying time. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott taking it in from two yards out. And they're able to add on to their advantage. Well, that was absolutely ideal for them, wasn't it? Trying to salt this game away. I think one of my kids just graduated in the amount of time they had the football. That was absolutely impressive. Everybody wants those salt-away-the-game drives. What makes them successful? Well, when you're able to mix run-pass, when you're able to control the football and stay ahead of the chains, I'm using every cliche I know, <laughs> but that's how you get it done because you're not taking negative plays, and that way you're able to run what you want to run when you get a chance to call it. Aubrey good with a PAT, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Now the Falcons' offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. Cousins. Throw left side. There's London. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. That'll give him eight that time. And they'll be left with second and a couple. And a good start there on first down. They've got to have this drive. No doubt about it. Down a couple of scores. They have to find a way to put it in the end zone. Chunk plays, explosive plays. That will be the key to this drive. Cousins to throw it. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. With the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys, they've been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start, it's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along, but if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. Coming up on the final two and a half minutes. And boy, has it been fun to watch this offense operate. Quite the display, and now they look to polish it off. And he'll get it inside the 35. And for the defense, this is a spot where you don't want to totally sell out to stop the run. But you do have a pretty good idea of what you're going to see. And that's good work right there to keep them in check on that first down carry. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. 
So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here's a second and five. They run again with Dowdle. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here now, third and a yard. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he will have a Cowboys first down, and that should be that. It's a gain of a yard, and the Cowboys are going to get a first down. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Prescott, he goes down to a knee, and that should just about do it. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Till next time, we say so long from Atlanta.